Recently, for some reason, the Bluetooth sync between my iPhone and my car, which allowed me to listen to YouTube videos and podcasts on my speakers, has stopped working. And because I'm a politics junkie, I have to listen to some news content. And sadly for me, most of the time, that means I'm stuck with LBC Radio. Now, it seems that whenever I'm driving, I'm stuck with The James O'Brien Show. For viewers outside of the UK, James O'Brien is a unique brand of unfounded smugness and superiority. We're not dealing with an Owen Jones or an AOC or a David Lammy here, but rather someone who frames everything as if he has logic and evidence and truth on his side. The only reason anyone might disagree with him is because they are ill-informed or because they are naive and gullible or because they have been lied to or because they are racists and bigots. You need to see a bit of him in action to see what I mean. Here you go. I don't know what you hear coming out of your radio when you hear me saying this stuff, if you're still on the other side of the argument. I genuinely don't know what you hear. I know that some of you are reading utter rubbish on Facebook about the Lisbon Treaty and either pretending to believe it or believing it. I don't know how to tell the difference anymore. But I don't know what you hear when you hear your heroes citing their visions of the future and then you hear truth tellers like me and Sue in Orpington telling you what that future under their own analysis will be. Like Sue said, the government's impact assessments, the government's own impact assessments. So you end up having to to dig ever deeper into delusion and deceit. You end up having to pretend that Theresa May has somehow deliberately tried to sabotage everything. You end up pretending that the MPs could have somehow voted for the Brexit you wanted. They couldn't have done, as was proved, I think, beyond any reasonable doubt when Boris Johnson and Michael Gove walked into different lobbies on the withdrawal agreement vote. It was impossible for Parliament to deliver the Brexit that everybody voted for because everybody voted for a different Brexit. Now, being stuck in traffic with this pleasant chap, as I have been recently, I've noticed a pattern to how Mr O'Brien argues. It goes something like this. Experts from X trusted institution say Y, therefore Y is correct and not Y is incorrect. If you doubt why, you think you know better than X, X is an expert and you are not. We should trust X and not you. Anyone who doesn't trust X believes in unicorns. This chain of reasoning can substitute for virtually every argument James O'Brien makes. For example, experts from the Bank of England say Brexit is bad, therefore Brexit is bad, and supporting Brexit is incorrect. If you doubt the Bank of England, you think you know better than the Bank of England. The Bank of England is filled with experts, and you are not one. We should trust the Bank of England, and not you. Anyone who doesn't trust the Bank of England believes in unicorns. And likewise, experts from the United Nations say man-made climate change is an emergency. Therefore, man-made climate change is an emergency, and questioning this is incorrect. If you doubt the United Nations, you think you know better than the United Nations. The United Nations is filled with experts, and you are not one. We should trust the United Nations and not you. Anyone who doesn't trust the United Nations believes in unicorns. I can distill his arguments down to one overriding meta-argument, which goes something like this. Trust in experts from established institutions. Accept their authority and do not question it, because they know better than you. When they ask things of you, obey them. Now anyone who watches this video can test this claim quite easily next time they are near a radio. Turn on LBC while the British Guild Awards 2017 Broadcast Journalist of the Year is on air and see how long it takes for him to make an appeal to authority along these lines. Now get out. If you want a vision of the future, Winston, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever.